Hello, I wanted to continue our series of videos on uh, Mobile ArcGIS. Um, for those who haven't seen previous videos, we've uh, we've been building cross-platform solutions on for ArcGIS. That's that's application which run across the uh, various mobile devices, Apple iOS, BlackBerry, and uh, Android. You're actually looking at an application running on a on an Android phone here. This is uh, Geo Mobile for ArcGIS, which is an application that we built. Uh, a while ago and release of the various app stores which you can get for free um, we've had some requests from people to uh, to, to actually um, modify that framework because it's a very flexible framework and, and focus on a couple of areas um, we're going to break this video up into two parts so this is part one which is going to talk about um, how you can actually do markup on a map and, and store that and, and pass that to somebody else uh, and I'll explain that a bit more detail as we go through. And the second, the, the second video that you'll see is actually about editing. So uh, we'll be talking about viewing attributes and editing attributes on a on a mobile device. I'm just going to turn off some of the layers. We've got a bunch of layers here for Utah, and I want to turn those off just for the second video. Let's close that window. Okay, so we're looking at uh, basically Utah here. We're going to just zoom into Utah. In fact, we're going to zoom into Salt Lake, I should say. Um, and we're going to open the markup tools. Let me just leave that running in the background. So this is actually close to where I live. Now, what we've done is we've actually taken some tools out of the uh, Esri uh, ArcGIS Flex Viewer that uh, some of you watching may have seen. This is actually the markup tool. So this allows you to actually add markup to the map. So let me give you some examples of what we're talking about here. So we can actually add a polygon, for example, to the map. On a, this, this, I, should, I should add this application is really designed for tablets, not for the phone, but um, just to prove to you that it actually does work well on the phone. So there's some markup on the map. We've just added a polygon. And if we wanted to uh, just add some text to that polygon, let's just write something on there. Um, let's write uh, my text done and let's just add that there so you can imagine if you're in a situation in the field where you actually are taking a pen and paper which a lot of people do in a paper map and you want to make some you want to make some notes on things that need to be changed for example there's an issue with um, a pipeline you see that there's a section of the pipeline that's broken and you're walking past that pipeline and you actually want to uh, you want to make a note just to, to let the engineers know they need to come and fix that pipeline. Well, you can actually annotate the map. You can add some markup to the map, just like I've done there, that says it marks a spot where the break is in the in the pipeline, and you can add some text to it. So there's lots of things one can do with annotation and text. Um, and uh, let's continue down that path, and we can I'll share with you what this application actually does. So let's just clear that markup for the minute it's gone. Okay, what I want to do is I want to open up, so we could have saved that markup to the phone. Let's just open up some markup that we saved earlier. And if you saw in the bottom right hand corner, we just, actually let's clear it and I'll just open that up again so you see. So that's gone. Let's just, there we go. So it actually went out into the phone and pick, picked up a text file and added it to the phone. So what we've got there is, and let's just, uh, actually let's just zoom into it. I'm going to minimize that. So this is this is actually not very far from my house. And it actually says, if it will zoom in for me, it doesn't seem to want to zoom in for the minute. Anyway, that uh, that says near my house. You can probably see that. So I've added some markup to the map that says near my house. Um, and it is near to my house. Let's do this. Let's send that to somebody else. So what we've, what we've done is we've saved that as a text file on the phone. So that markup is saved. I've got an email address in here which I'm going to send this markup to and the name of the file is savedgraphics.txt. So we're going to hit that button and there it is. It says thank you, your markup file has been sent to that particular address. Okay, I want to take this, let's move off of the phone and on to, and excuse my... Uh, messing around with this uh, camera but I need to just zoom that back okay so this you're now looking at a desktop this is this on the desktop is 
the uh, ArcGIS viewer, f um, f Flex viewer. It has a widget in it called the Draw and Measure widget. So, in that widget, which is exactly the same widget as we just saw on the mobile device, so what I've done is I've sent a text file to my email account or to the email account that that was the address there. Actually, let's move that over. There is, there's the file that was sent. Save graphic text. Let's download that, and we'll save it to. Actually, we'll have to open it up there. Just excuse my mucking around here, but uh, so there's the file that's been saved. Let's open the file and then let's dump it on the desktop, shall we? Let me just, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to dump it on the desktop there. So there's saved graphics. I'm going to dump it on the desktop. There it is. Okay, good. We're good to go. Let's pull that map up again. There's the map. So we've got the option to open a saved graphics layer. There's the file we just saved on the desktop, which came from the which came from the mobile device. Let's open that up. Bingo. Let's zoom in there. Now it's large at this scale, of course. But let's just see what we've got. And there it is. There is that that markup added to an ArcGIS Flex Viewer. So for example, I'm a field worker, I go out in the field and I, uh, I gather my an annotations, um, I'd save them to my phone and then send them to my supervisor. My supervisor then opens up the ArcGIS viewer for Flex, uh, which, is a free, which is a free viewer that's supported by, uh, by ESRI, and he loads that markup file and uh, he can then work against that data that uh, I've recorded or the field worker has recorded. Um, so lots of possible applications here. Great, so that's part one. I'm going to uh, take a look at part two where we'll start talking about actual editing uh, attributes of particular features. So thanks for watching.